bottom there, it says a big blow to Tobiko as 125 graft cases collapse. Now, there was a decision by the Court of Appeal uh, to stop former Transport Minister Michael Kamau's prosecution over corruption allegations, but that decision by the court has now crippled 125 other cases. The DPP will now have to withdraw all affected cases that the ESCC had investigated and prosecuted for more than two years. Among this, that is here on page 10 at the bottom there, among this is uh, the uh, termination, which was a case terminated yesterday, and that was uh, against a former NYS Director General Nelson Givinji, who had been accused of misappropriation of about 497 million shillings. So these 125 graft cases that have collapsed are not small cases at all. Michelle, it is amazing what is happening in this country. It's still the same corruption, what we're seeing here. You know uh, uh, the country lost over 10 billion on the NYS saga, and, and it just went like that. And you can see now, because of a technicality, the technicality they're talking about is that ESCC was not properly constituted then, right. and for that reason, they needed not to have taken up these cases. And so you're wondering, well, what is DCI doing? I and, thought they could and, also and, do the and same And why did work. the ESCC investigate these cases for two years for without two anybody years. raising concerns? Exactly. And, and so let me tell you, in this country, if you sell somebody's your neighbor's chicken, you're going to go to jail very quickly because you'll not have money to defend yourself. Right. But when you have a lot of money and you've stolen a lot of money, it is just a matter of time before you're told, you go home. I mean, we have, uh, you know, even a, a, a just... A, the judiciary, um, you know, case that uh, that um, you know Honourable Shalay, you know, was was going through, uh -huh. and you, you saw that as soon as uh, she came uh, into the office, you know, her case was dropped. I'm not saying that uh, when she became a women rep, therefore, you know, they, they decided that her case was dropped. But it falls in this category of over 125 grand cases. We're talking about hundreds of millions. We're talking about billions, billions of, of, of uh, you know, um, you know, Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. just uh, going through the drain because, oh, technicality. Technicality that, that was known to all of them. This is just a scheme. This is just a strategy that I believe even the, the, the DPP knew about this technicality. Mm -hmm. I mean, all these people read. They're, they're lawyers. They know what is happening. And they, they knew about this technicality. If ESCC was not supposed to bring it at that particular time, why didn't the DPP uh, you know, you know, advise that yeah. this is not going well? I mean, the attorney general in his place, he advises the government, why did the Attorney General say there's something wrong here, you can't do this now, perhaps let's have the DCI do this. But remember, the Grand corruption in this country is not even left to the DCI alone. Those are supposed to be for petty, petty, you know, criminals. But when it comes to grand corruption, this is what happens. The DPP is involved, the ESCC is involved, the DCI is involved, and everybody seems to have their own power. And then the final man who says, OK, you go and prosecute this guy because you've looked at the file. How many files have gone to the DPP's office mm -hmm. and the DPP says, I don't have any enough evidence for this guy to be prosecuted? Right. So you can see that this one grand corrupt individual will go home scot-free just by one mere disagreement of all these three people. Mm -hmm. And if one person disagrees with the rest, then, then the guy goes scot-free. Money has been lost in NYS and will never, never forget how easy it was for a woman to carry money in gunny bags, millions and millions, and go home with it from the basement of the bank and go home with it. And nothing happens to them. In fact, they're out there just enjoying that very money. Nobody has said Nobody that has all this money has been brought back into the government, mm -hmm. you know, to the treasury. It is absolutely wrong. If we do not check on the corruption that is taking place, and now it is at the door of the president himself, really, if we do not tame the corruption in this country, we are headed to the red. We are getting to a situation, basically, where we will be borrowing to pay even the debts. Mm -hmm. We have so much debts in this country. As much as they're saying, we haven't got into the threshold. We haven't got into the red line yet. But we are getting there because we are soon going to borrow money to repay our debts. And you know what? Everybody in this country is owing about 80,000 right. Kenyan shillings. Right. Our children that are born today are already owing this money. Mm -hmm. When are we going to clear this? When a lot of money is finding itself in the pockets. All right, well, just 